Dude, flowers, long time no see. Yo, what's up, brother? Dude, it's been so long since I've seen you. I'm so glad you're doing good, you know? Yeah, I've been doing my thing. I've been doing my thing, you know, like, uh, working here, I'm a manager here, trying to hold down the fort. Oh, really, really? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a manager, me. That's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Hey, how are uh, things elsewhere? You still holding up strong? Um, oh, of course, of course, you know. We're doing our thing, so surviving every day, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, on the come up, on the come up, that's for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I love to hear it. Yeah, I'm kind of on the same path. Hey, um, there's a little bit of an issue that started up, and I'd like to squash that with you if you if you have a second. Yeah, of course. So let's let's go in my office. Come on. Excellent. Oh, let me grab uh, let me grab my friend. Hey, Smiley. We need What's to it? talk to this guy. Uh, gentlemen, um, I would love to continue talking with you if you want to hang around. If not, I totally understand. I, I really appreciate your time. Yeah, no worries. No worries. All uh, right. I seem to be the problem, guys. Well, uh, before I get into too many details, just want to let you know this is kind of like your other life if you don't want to have this discussed uh, at this location. Well, yeah, we could go to a different spot. Okay, okay. Yeah, just, you know, I know how uh, two worlds colliding can cause quite the issue. All right. Thanks again for your time, Flowers. Appreciate it. Uh, no problem. No problem. So, um, this is my friend here. His name's Smiley, right? And, I mean, nice to meet you, Flo. We're, nice yeah, we're all actually kind of in the same kind of clothing. It's uh, quite a coincidence. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my friend Smiley. Uh, we we like to run around together. We we get into some mischief. And uh, fortunately, I have not been present for the last week, but I'm back. As you can tell, um, but while I was gone, it seems that some of your boys and Smiley and one of our friends has uh, gotten a little bit of a kerfuffle, let's say. And I just want to clear that up, make sure it's nothing personal, you know, just get to the bottom of it. So, uh, you know, we can continue to be good friends and, and continue to have our mischievous together, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, if you guys want to remind me about the situation, I haven't heard anything about this. So, Of course, of course. Uh, so I've been I've been robbed multiple times by some of your boys, I guess. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, sin the first scenario arose um, outside of a burger shop, where another another friend of mine and I were. Uh, how would you put it? We were we was we were goofing around, I guess. This is the best way to put it. Uh, some of your boys. Wait, are you the guy who got hit with a hammer? Can we? That on the I'm the guy that yeah, I'm the guy that got hit with the hammer. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, we we all good here, yeah. I mean, we kind of just forgot about the whole situation, to be honest. Okay. Wasn't there another one, Smiley? Yeah, it was. It was two scenarios within like a very short period of time. Yeah, yeah, that's where I got yeah, concerned. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's just one of those things where, uh, you know, some guy pulls out a gun and the other guy, you know, gets shot. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, we ain't gonna take things, uh, you know, to heart or whatever. Uh, I feel like uh, that situation is done and done, and I mean, we could just move on from there, to be honest. We don't good, good, really good. have to keep going. That's, that's fine. Good Thanks. Yeah. Well, uh... uh yeah. Well, I still have you here. I have uh, I have an idea I'd like to share with you, Flowers, and I hope to share it with, uh, with the trust that you won't go, uh, maybe steal my idea or however. I know you're not someone like that. I just feel like I have to say it to anyone that I talk about this idea with. I'm, uh, um, go ahead. I, I, I'm talking with Smiley here, and, uh, we're, we're thinking very, very strongly about potentially, uh, trying to go for the Diamond Casino. Mmm. Yeah, we've talked to that fella, uh, Dick uh, Dunley, Dudley. Talked to him a little bit, and uh, he says uh, it might be it might be something that we could grasp if we would play our cards right. Um, but you know, we're we're still kind of in that uh, research phase, you know, trying to make sure this is something the city, the, the the well, the civilians within the city would like to see, and you know what we could do that the previous owners didn't to make it that much better. And I know you've been around for quite the time, so I feel like there's no one better to ask. Well, um, when it comes to casinos, I am a roulette man. I Absolutely. Roulette. Um, I don't think there's any roulette tables over there. 
So if maybe you guys could, you know, get some new roulette tables, maybe you can get that big, yep, yep. big, uh, big wheel working, do some like little car giveaways and whatnot, you know, I think that Absolutely. definitely would, uh, you know, encourage people to come to the casino. Cause right now no one really goes over there. Cause blackjack, uh, blackjack, you, you're going to get scammed pretty much. Yeah. Yep. And the, this, this is the thing that I noticed as well. There's no, there's no high roller table. There's one high roller table that's, uh, it's, it's three card poker, you know, it's yeah, yeah. how many people know how to play three card poker in the city? Roulette um, well, is, is as simple as clicking some numbers. Exactly. Uh, yeah. You know, roulette, you know, getting roulette tables don't seem too far fetched of a, of a thing to get. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. that should be pretty the, easy to have. Absolutely. There are yeah. Roulette tables. There is roulette tables in the back corner, but they're, they're capped. You know, there's only so many things you can bet on and they're pretty pathetic, to be honest. Yeah, maybe they could probably like little updated tables or whatever. They can yeah, order them from absolutely. like Amazon or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do that. I don't know. They. I'm not very good at putting things together, but I mean, I, I'll try my best. Um, so we pretty much everything you said we already have planned, with the addition of a few things. Um, firstly, we want to like turn the roof into like a party pad. Try to get as much shit as we can there, and encourage people to get there like almost. Any events we can, right? We're trying to get in contact with On Top Records, seeing if we can work out some sort of an agreement to do some, you know, whatever it may be, like a concert or a ceremony or something there. Hey, what now, boys? Owning up a business, um, it's difficult because uh, I worked at Horny's for a good, solid good two to three months, and I still don't even have the keys to the place, you know what I mean? Uh, I was told I do own the business, like I fully own it, but like right uh -huh. now it's just construction going on. No people on Christmas break. Uh, Absolutely. Right now, it, you know, everything's slow right now. And I can't yeah, yeah, go yeah. in a food restaurant when, you know, you could go to a corner store and just steal all the food over there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Right now, yeah, I'm out um, of business. We are... So, so... Let me take a step back. Basically, it's currently owned by people called the Kane family. Um, so we've reached out to them, and if we don't hear anything before... January 1st um, then we're just gonna just go full force on that um, we're giving them a little bit of time to, to get back at us see if they have a number thing like that um, so yeah that that holiday season I definitely put that in consideration I appreciate you for bringing that up nonetheless yeah for sure uh, definitely have an idea that um, you guys could do instead of like you know try to have events and get people to do blackjack or whatever uh, Devil's Dice is very popular. Really, Absolutely, really popular. yes. Yeah, we. I, I haven't discussed this with Smiley yet, but it was going to be one of our first events. It was a uh, tournament style dev, uh, Devil's Dice for like 50, 100,000 maybe. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea, to be honest. Yeah. You know, like I have like a little, little bit of contest here and there, you know. Make sure you, you, you just got to be active around with it. Pretty much just Absolutely. You know, a bunch of tournaments every week. If you... I feel like the biggest issue with Devil's Dice currently is you, you have to put the trust in one another that, you know, after after the dice is rolled, someone's going to pay. Oh, no, like we would pay. Much, yeah, pretty much is how you'll do it. Like, if you want to yeah. get people to, like, buy in, they send, uh you know, one of the managers money, it being, exactly. like, you guys and or whatever, man the middleman. Yeah. And then, uh you know, let them all roll and the burner gets all the money. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking 2500 entry fee with the, like goal to be about you know maybe what 20 people and then have the um prize be 50 to 100 thousand yeah 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 go work and maybe you guys you know take like five to ten percent from the uh from the cut and just you know yeah. there's profits for you guys a middleman service that has like a two percent or three percent so we see some sort of return on the middleman service but we also you know they know that the the bet's safe. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That doesn't sound like a too bad of an idea. Yeah, I think I think we could probably renovate those back rooms to just be, a, you know, a room for specifically that. Yeah. Group of gambling. I think it would be. I mean, this is completely far fetched. Uh, will never happen. But could you imagine, like, you know, the the racing on the laptop you can see sometimes. Mm -hmm. Imagine being able to bet on those at the casino. Like who's gonna win? That would be so cool. Dang, yes, that's an illegal. 
situation yeah. on the main side. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, never would happen. It would just be a really cool thing to do. Really nice idea, but you know, a little too out there, yeah. Yeah, for sure. De definitely think the double dice thing, you know, that's pretty much gonna be like what you guys are gonna have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do like the uh, the housing idea. Hopefully, we could get like blackjack tables, or well, not blackjack, but roulette tables. Roulette, yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah, maybe even like craps or something too. That'd be pretty cool. I know real, people real. just they, they like looking at the dice, you know. <laughs> that's why. That's why real money maker like right that. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, well, we won't take any more of your time, Flowers. Uh, would you mind throwing me your number? Oh, for sure, for sure. Do you have mine? Do you know? I uh, don't think so. All right. Here. You just send me. Kyla Mella. All right, perfect. Alrighty. Well, I'll uh, be sure to see you around. All right. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna start hanging up uh, uh, help wanted posters. Well, more like missing posters for Luta. I haven't, I haven't seen them. Oh while. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, uh, Todd kind of was wally. telling me about that. Um, yeah. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help about that. I, I would yeah. drop anything at a heartbeat. Yeah, I don't have any pictures of him, so I'm thinking about just drawing like stick figures and hopefully in that, oh, yeah. that will work. I hope so. I mean, I think I think uh, that blue jacket anyone will recognize, you know, the blue vest. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we can right. find them and we'll see what's up. Yeah, yeah. Keep me updated. Uh, like I said, let me know if you need anything. I'll, I'll drop anything. All right, brother. You guys take it easy. All right, you too. Stay safe out there. What a great meeting. That went surprisingly well. Like that that's so much stress relieved on my on my end and yeah, I think we got some pretty valuable ones in. Yeah, yeah, I I actually really like flowers. I think flowers is pretty cool. It's a little uh, a little hot headed, but other than that, I, I think he's uh, got a good head on his shoulders.